Hey, good morning, guys. It is uh, St. Patrick's Day. Um, I'm not Irish, so that doesn't mean anything to me. I um, just want to give you some updates today uh, on our sheet. We got a new sheet, a new version of this, and I want to talk a little bit about it. So the first thing is, uh, in Section 1, um, if you're wondering about the pounding, that's uh, the guys upstairs putting the new carpet in for the um, podcasting studio which you'll uh, be hearing more about. We're building a real specific podcast studio, which dedicated equipment that uh, anyone can go up and use. Anyway, so on that sheet, um, there are two assignments that are related to today, the branding assignment, as well as the stop motion animation video. Um, I'm going to take the stop motion animation video out of, a rec of the rec mandatory assignments so it's not something that's mandatory. Um, okay, so branding. So what is branding? Branding is how you represent yourself over multiple sites, whether it's printing on a shirt, on a cup, uh, your website, your Twitter page, um, social media, everything, your YouTube channel. Everything should be the same look, color scheme, everything. So, for example, if I have a $20, $50, wow, I should go to Starbucks. If I have a $50 gift card from Starbucks, this logo is going to be real specific to um, everything I use. This is going to be on the cup. It's going to be the sign outside the store. It's going to be the website. It's going to be, it might be the Twitter logo. So the funny thing about it is, and I'll compare this, is that if this is for Starbucks, Okay, now in the front of the PAC, there is a student run Starbucks kiosk. That is a different company. So they don't use this exact logo. Their logo is different. Their logo says, we proudly serve Starbucks. And when the district first started doing that program, they actually had shared this logo and got in trouble with Starbucks because they used the wrong logo. So branding is a big thing. Niagara Falls High School has a logo. It's that NFHS with the Wolverine crawling through it. And a lot of people hate that logo. I'm not very fond of it. And there's been big talk of changing that logo. The OSC has a logo, which I use on all of my OSC stuff. Uh, you'll see it plastered throughout the Facebook page, the Instagram um, the osc.vibit you'll see it on the banners and you want to share this information and in every place and anywhere and use that logo i made that logo three years ago um and i created it just using photoshop i made sure that when i made it that the digital version of it was really 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 big like 3000 by 3000 um in terms of the the basic image and I, that way I can use it across multiple platforms. And because like my thing has that white background, you can use it in that Luma key thing where you take the background out and you can make it transparent to use in videos, like one of your assignments. I'm also, uh, as many of you know, retiring at the end of the next school year, 2020, 2022, and I am starting some after retirement businesses and one of them is called Maranto Media. So I asked Ryan Kinney, who's a former student who has a graphic design uh, major to make me a logo. So here's my logo. Um, I like this logo a lot. It kind of represents a studio, which is kind of like the black box. So it's kind of a box. And you'll notice that it's got like spotlights coming down and those spotlights form the two M's in my logo which is the name of the company, Maranto Media. And notice that the colors that are used in the font are also used in the logo. The font is called Berlin, so I would want to be consistently using that font across multiple things. And what I really like about this logo is it's kind of an optical illusion. Are you looking inside the box or are you looking from outside the box from like below? I, I like that, and I really was immediately attracted to that logo. And that's the idea. Um, that business that I'm creating is going to uh, be called, be used for media production, studio design and consulting. 
that's the name of my industry that I'm going to be going into. I don't need to make a lot of money. <laughs> so if it doesn't work out, you'll see me at uh, Home Depot or Value Mixing Paint. And I'll probably make more money doing that. Um, I'll do some video production work. So now th when that company, which is incorporated, so it's an incorporation, <clears throat> I'm going to buy a website. I'm going to have someone generate, create, help me create the website. I'm going to create a commercial for the website. I'm going to have a good photographer come in and help me take images for my website. And then I should create an Instagram and a Twitter and a Facebook page. That logo will be plastered out throughout. And then I'll use that same logo to make shirts. And I'll make sure that I'm incorporating that Berlin font into my production stuff. Um, even the colors that are incorporated have a uh, code. And I'm going to bring up some examples of those codes right now on the screen. And those codes are like the internet codes that you use for those colors. And that way, if someone wants to use those colors for projects, uh, y you'll know exactly which gray and black that you're using. There's a million blacks, there's a million grays, and you do that as such. So that's about branding. And I realize I talked a lot about branding because I think branding is really important. I think that if you're creating a podcast, you want to have a logo. I mentioned that my son and I, my son Christian and I, and sometimes my son Zach are going to be doing a podcast. And we're going to be on um, the podcast network that Matt Johnson runs called the Podcast Precinct. And this is the logo for our podcast, which is also 3000 by 3000. Uh, we named it because obviously it's a father-son duo. So my son came up with the next of kin. And we haven't done our first episode yet, but we have the logo. Um, all of these things are, again, when I create the Instagram page and the Facebook page for Next of Kin and the Twitter, I'm going to be, that's going to be on those pages. That logo will be the face of those things. Um, that's really what branding is. So if you are, and then YouTube, let me go back to YouTube. So if you have a YouTube channel, and that's one of the assignments on the sheet, create a YouTube channel, not just an account, and personalize that YouTube channel and incorporate again those logos. So when people look around, they're seeing the same information over and over and over again. That's what branding is. So what's the branding assignment for you? Um, I want you to try to develop a personal brand. So this isn't really a video. It could be a video, but it could be a video introducing your brand. It could be a logo. It could be coming soon. It doesn't have to be a real company. It doesn't have to be really anything you're going to do with. But the concept of creating a logo um, that is yours. So you don't want to download a picture of the Sabres and, and, and call it your own. Can you create something using some royalty-free clip art and things like that? Create something that is going to be like your brand. It could be a fake brand. So, for example, if you're take a Girl Scout cookies box and change the cookie okay make up a cookie look at the specific branding of Girl Scouts logo and this font it's incorporated throughout okay um, maybe you make a fake product I don't care if you just make the product you don't even have to make the commercial make the product hold on mm, those are good Take my money, Girl Scouts. You could just, okay. So you can do anything you want with branding. Main thing would be is that like if you create a Twitter page, uh, Instagram page, Facebook page, YouTube channel, uh, and that brand is represented throughout. So you could just screenshot those things and send them to me. Um, you can make a video that would appear on those things. Again, some of you have... YouTube channels that you do stuff with. Um, some of you have maybe a blog that you're doing or a, a podcast that you're doing. Some of you may already have a logo, so this assignment may be done. Okay? I'm moving the stop motion out because I think there's just too much other stuff to do. The main thing is make me some videos. you got to make some videos, and you got to get your forms done. And um, this video's a little long today, a lot of talking, but, um, you know, the more work you do, 
it's media production, and I'm trying to make sure you're involved in that. Okay? All right. Talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye.